So now that we know why they're close to shore, they're coming in for warmth and protection and for food, the question is, what are they doing all day long? So to answer those questions, we'll use drones to understand kind of what they're doing in a snapshot in time. We use the telemetry to look at where they're spending their time. But by using this other technology called smart tags, we've been able to figure out that sharks actually spend part of their day probably just resting. So a smart tag is this device that we can clamp on the dorsal fin like a little backpack. It's got a 3D accelerometer, magnetometer, gyroscope that measures every motion the shark makes in a compass heading. It's got a temperature and depth sensor, so it tells us the temperature and depth moves through. It's got a video logger so we can see what the shark sees, and it's got a transmitter so we can follow it around during that 24-hour period. After 24 hours, it pops off. We pick it up, we download it just like a Fitbit. So what we've learned from three sharks that we've tracked with these smart tags is that probably 20% of their day is just being lazy. So one of the questions we're trying to figure out is why should sharks rest part of the day? Well, everything has to rest. White sharks have to swim continuously in order to breathe. Maybe this is how they sleep. They sleep, but they still have to move. So what's the advantage of that? They're saving energy. They're not burning as many calories. And if you're hanging out in this spot because it's safe, what else are you gonna do if you're not eating? So the misconception is that sharks are hunting all day and it's not true, they can't be. No animals do that, right? So they're always doing other things. They may be resting, saving energy, finding warm pockets, avoiding places where there could be things that could hurt them. So during those times of day, they're staying in the same general area because it's overall, it's safer. It, it's warmer and they know there's food there that could be acquired if they stick it out. But at some point, that can change. The water can get too cold. The favorite things they like to eat get too few, which means they're gonna have to move and go somewhere else. So we're better understanding what these sharks are doing when they're hanging out in these nursery areas over the course of a day.